this is the new Hyundai Veloster. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it has those cool looks and that rather funky name, and it has the two doors on one side, but only one on the other side concept, because without them, it wouldn't have a chance in hell of appealing to anyone, because let's face it, it's not gonna be any good to drive, is it? Well, maybe and maybe not. But unless you spent the last few years locked in your garden shed, you can't help but have noticed that Korean cars in general, and Hyundai's in particular, are no longer the cars you buy because you can't afford anything else. From the little i10 to the big i40, Hyundai's are now much more credible than many European and Japanese cars. So who's to say they can't build a decent coupe too? For a start, the Veloster has real showroom appeal. Its USP is to look like a normal coupe on one side and provide a rear door on the other. Any parent, or indeed grandparent, who regularly look after small children will instantly see the sense of that. And, unlike the Mini Clubman, those children get out on the side of the pavement, not the traffic. True, the rear seat package isn't great, and the rear door aperture is quite small, but compared to clambering past front seats as you must on a normal coupe, it's still a huge advantage. OK, so we've established that it works well standing still, but can the same be said once you're on the move? In a word, no. So the first thing you need to do with the Veloster is manage your expectations. This is not a Porsche Cayman. It's a small, affordable coupe aimed much more at elderly empty nesters and younger fashion victims than at truly die-hard road warriors. Its little 1.6-litre engine has only 138 horsepower, which is only just enough, and only if you torture the car, to get it to 60 this side of 10 seconds. But the engine itself is willing enough, and this 6B gearbox is actually quite nice to use. Its chassis is nicely balanced too. Down here among the affordable coupes, you won't find many classmates offering such throttle-sensitive handling. What lets it down is steering that lacks bite on turning and feel all the way through the corner. And because it won't tell you what's going on, you have to figure it out for yourself, placing a barrier between you and a truly interactive driving experience you simply won't find in the class-leading Volkswagen Scirocco. That the Veloster is Hyundai's best coupe ever is perhaps not saying so much, but the fact that it is worthy of mention even in the same sentence as the 1.4 litre Scirocco undoubtedly is. We would take the Volkswagen every time, but it costs almost two grand more, so perhaps you should expect nothing less. No, the Veloster is not a great car, but it is a capable car and it's a credible one. And with the looks, this door, a five-year warranty and a sub 18 grand list price we'd expect it to be a successful one too.